that just for the record we're adding two mediums because I don't have another deep so I'm going to add two mediums to this box they're long 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 overdue we're going to give them some pine this is all pine needles they don't need lots and lots of smoke but they're going to need some Now it's kind of a cloudy overcast day. Bees and I were working with at another location. They were kind of pissy. So we're going to see how these girls do. They may not take too well. We'll find out. Got a little bit of a mess going there. Oh yeah. Looks like they've got wax attached from the box to the uh, inner cover. Again, we're not trying to move super fast. We're not trying to piss them off. Look at that though. They really did attach on there. That'll have to get cleaned up. Don't know that I want to do a whole lot besides just get them into the get the new boxes up. They've been so short of space for so long. I may not clean them up right now just to get them used to it. Let them get in and adapt, you know. Because come on, girls, get out of the way. Come on. Again, we're trying to catty corner this and move it. Nice and slow, because we want them to not squish bees, and we want them to not get ticked. Ow! Like that. Not get ticked off. But, you know, that was pretty much my fault, for the most part. Because I wasn't careful enough, I think. Hey, girls. Got a little entrance because this box got scooted up back here. Uh, so we're gonna <coughs> kind of have to get in here. And... Kind of scooch it back. There we go. Now the rear entrance is closed off because they're not able to get through there no more. Now we got to just set it straight sideways. There we go. All right. So I got the second box on. Let's get it adapted. Sweating like a pig in here because it's very, very humid. This, even though it's a ventilated bee suit, still gets mighty warm, especially on super humid days. Alright. I forgot to bring a little baggies to scrape that wax into. Which means... extra help. So, luckily, I just use this old screen bottom. And they're on a screen bottom, by the way. 
Now I just use the screen bottom and uh, scrape the wax onto that, eh? So, first we'll try to get the bees to vamoose off of here. Come on. Come on. All right. We're just cleaning the inner cover off because we let them build attachment because we didn't have extra boxes to put this to add on to this particular hive for so long. And this is a rescue hive. This is one of the ones we took out of a column from a deck this year. They're booming. They're really doing well. I gotta say really impressed by their recovery because right after we took them out we had some really really bad weather where it was hard for them to forage kind of hard for them to really make it you know get a lot done and build back up we brought some comb back with us but I didn't I was afraid it wasn't going to be enough so And because it's getting very hot and very warm, I'm going to flip this over anyway. And we're going to put it so ventilation in an upper entrance is given to them. Because this here will be the both upper entrance and allow for some airflow. So that'll work out. And let's scrape this stuff off. All right. Now, now these girls have a proper hive to work with, grow into, which is what I was most concerned about, is that they might uh, abscond because they just didn't have enough space. We don't want that. That would be bad. So... Now we'll just go ahead and tighten the strap down a little bit. That way the wind doesn't come and blow it off or anything like that. Alright. And that is giving them a little more space. They'll get to grow into that.